Hey guys, welcome to part two of Convert an HTML template to a WordPress theme. Um, where we left off was we're um, adding our dynamic functionality to the index.php file. So, so far our title, the image, and the text are all dynamic and coming from WordPress. However, the, this meta info right here is still static. So, we're going to go ahead and change that. So if we go to index.php you can see um, right here this paragraph we have posted by and then we just have the text someone. So we want to get the author's name in there and that's pretty easy we just want to replace someone with php the author posts link So what that'll do is it'll show the the author's name with a, it'll ha also have a link to his page. Okay, so the date on July 18th, we want to change that. Um, so we'll take that say PHP. The time, and we want to format that how that looks so I'm gonna say F J S Y I think that's right okay so let's just check the uh, the name and the date alright so you can see it changed to Brad and the correct date if I click on Brad well, it's not going to show us anything because we don't have our page PHP done. Um, so let's see. We want to add this comments thing here. So we'll replace this PHP um, Actually, we're going to have we're gonna this is gonna be a link. Let me just Okay, so we want this link to go to the comments or to the post. So in here we're gonna say PHP um, comments link. Okay, and then for the actual text replace this now what we do here is we can say PHP comments number and this is going to take a few parameters let me just put this on its own line um, let's see Okay, so the first parameter will be what we want it to say if there's no comments. Um, so let's just say zero comments. And the next is what we want it to say if there's only one comment. So we'll say one comment. And then the final parameter we want to say um, Responses. Let's see if that works. All right, so it looks like there is one comment. So that's all set. Now, this full article, I guess that's going to be the read more link. So let's go. Okay, where it says full article. We have a link going to it, um, so we're going to put in here um, PHP the permalink, okay, uh, and I also want to link the, we'll put that in the image link. So right here in this, put the same thing, and also the title, I want to put it in the title as well, so replace that. 
All right, so this looks fully dynamic. I think I got rid of all the static stuff, so I'm gonna save that. All right, so if I hover over this, you can see in the bottom it's going to uh, post one right down here. Okay, the title, same thing. We don't have single PHP set up, so it's not gonna do nothing yet. Uh, but that looks like that looks complete for as far as the main content area. Uh, let's make sure that if we put a read more block, it'll cut the text off where we want. So after the first paragraph, I'm going to click this read more icon, update and reload. Okay, so it's only showing us. That's good. All right, so that that's f complete. Um, let's see. So I guess next we'll do the single.php which is going to be basically the same thing. So I'm actually going to copy everything, put it in single.php and after the end while I want to add some the comment area so we'll say uh, php comment template save now if I click on the hello world post we now have our single post totally dynamic we got our comment box and we have our one comment and you could further style this maybe put a, a nice background or something but we're not going to get into that alright so that's single what else do we have our page Okay, so now let's do our page.php file. And this is basically going to be very similar. Uh, we don't want we don't want a link in the title because it's going to be just a page. Uh, we don't want this metadata, so I'm going to get rid of all this. rid of that um, yeah so we just want the title the post uh, yeah I think that's it so let's see what that does all right cool so it's just a standard page all right now what I want to do is add some um, or add a, a menu link. We need a home link. We're just stuck on sample page now. Uh, by default, there is no home link on the menus. So if we go to a, wait a minute. Whoa. Actually, we don't have menu functionality. We need to add some things to our functions.php file. We don't have access to widgets or menus. So let's go to functions.php and let's just comment this. We'll say that's thumbnail. So basically I can copy this and inside of here we just want to put menus save that if I reload this we now have menus available alright so we don't have a, a menu yet by default it's just going to take any page we create and put it on the menu um, but let's create one call it main menu All right, so let's see. You can choose to automatically add new top-level pages to this menu, um, but let's do it manually. So we'll add the sample page we have, and then we need a home a home link. So under links, uh, I'm just going to put I'm just going to put the actual link to the home page. Alright, 
save that. We should now have a home link. All right. So let's go ahead and add another post. And we'll put a read more link right there. Let's actually add a category. Okay. And let's add that other one to that category as well. Okay, so let's reload the home page. Oh, we didn't put our image in. Wait a minute. All right, something's not right. Oh, how did that get up there? Actually, I want it right here. Okay, and now we just want to upload that, the other image. Alright, update and reload. And now we have our post, our other post. Alright, so that's that's done. Uh, the next thing I want to do is create the sidebar. We want a, a sidebar widget. And what we want to do is register our widget in the functions.php file. And I'm actually going to paste in some content here just because it's going to it'll take too long to type but it's really easy to understand so we use the function called register sidebar which we pass in an array in the array we have the name of the of the um, sidebar which is just called right hand sidebar the ID the description before title and after title so what we're saying is every widget in the right sidebar will have an h3 tag with the class of sidebar title and we have before widget and after widget which is is added before the entire widget and after it okay so we'll give it a class of widget and then we have a dynamic id and a dynamic class so we can single them out if we need to all right so we'll save that and now we want to go into sidebar.php and let's see all right we're going to need to go to back to the static template and take a look at that so here's the sidebar let's grab this Actually, we don't need this. All we need is the div. Because these are going to be dynamic widgets. Okay, so inside here, we'll say PHP dynamic sidebar. And we want the name of the... Whoop, we want to say right sidebar. All right, so that should do it. Okay, let's see if we have any widgets. Oh, we didn't save functions. Or did we? All right, so now we have a widgets menu link, menu link, and we have our right-hand sidebar available over here. So let's put some things over here. We can put categories. OK, 
can really put whatever you want. Um, let's see, we'll put a search bar. Recent posts. Okay, let's check that out. All right, so there's our sidebar. Actually, you know what? This isn't styled correctly. We might need to change some things around. Let's see, I wanna go into the sidebar and I wanna go into this sidebar and see what's Okay, so there's H2s here. So let's go back into functions.php, get rid of the this H3 here, and we'll call it H2s instead. That should style the titles. All right, there we go. And I mean, you could create a custom widget and copy this exactly, um, but we really don't need to do that, and we have the functionality. Uh, let's go ahead and add a page, add a new page. And we'll want to add that to the menu as well. So about us, add to menu. So we're pretty much done. Uh, we added all the dynamic functionality. There's more you could do. You could um, add in some conditionals so that if the sidebar, if there's no active widgets, you'd make the content stretch all the way over. You can do stuff like that. Uh, create more pages, maybe portfolio, galleries, things like that. But uh, I don't want to get too advanced. This is really for the beginner to mid-level developer. So I hope you learned a lot and please subscribe if you can. Thanks.